Tonight we're recognizing true heroes in every sense of the word. The African-American military pilots and airmen who fought in World War II, better known as the Tuskegee Airmen. Yeah, incredibly, frustratingly, not everyone saw them as heroes, though. In fact, some hardly saw them as human. Dr. Eugene Richardson is a 95-year-old Tuskegee Airman, and he shared his experience with our Bill Anderson. When you mention the Tuskegee Airmen, most people these days are aware of the first black military pilots from World War II. I'm this guy, this person. But sadly, with so few still around, the opportunities to learn firsthand are slowly fading away. I'm Eugene Richardson, and I've been blessed. I'm 95 years old. He may feel blessed to be 95, but we were blessed to have the opportunity to hear his experiences breaking down barriers. Well, I wanted to fly since I was a kid. And then in January of 44, they sent me to, I went to Tuskegee and started to fly through the flight program there, which took, took about a year. Tuskegee was the only place where black men were trained for, uh, to be pilots. Simply put, the military didn't believe that black men had the intelligence and skills to be pilots, but needed the reinforcements. People like Dr. Richardson dreamed of flying and service and this was his chance. The flying program with blacks was actually an experiment, an experiment to see whether black men could be pilots or not. And uh, we were anxious to make this a positive experience. Now with movies and books about their exploits, the Tuskegee Airmen are legendary, but even as they're celebrated for their skill, not as much attention is paid to the obstacles that they had to overcome just for the opportunity to serve a country that still viewed them as less than. Did it ever bother you that you're there, you're, you're a pilot, you're serving your country, but you can't even go into town? Yeah, but you're afraid to go into town. And that was a bit little un unsettling. And you had to sort of wonder, what's wrong with these dumb people down here? <laughs> I'm down here to protect them, and they're treating me like, uh, you know, like I don't know what. His strength and wisdom allow him now to just move on. But the reality is, in a lot of ways, they were risking their lives at home for the opportunity to risk their lives potentially in combat. Even in uniform. I had a bus driver tell me, I don't give a damn about that uniform. You, you do what you're supposed to do down here, you know. He said uniform didn't mean anything to him. And the consequences for resisting, even for what we now refer to as military heroes, was severe. Somebody has a song, Southern trees bear strange fruit, you know, means that means somebody's hanging, being hung, hung on a tree. They had the test to get in. And yet they pushed on, not having any idea that they would ever be viewed as trailblazers or heroes, but knowing that their service could create opportunities. To me, it's important for people to know that so that we can sort of get rid of the stereotype that exists for uh, about people with, with, with brown skin. People like Dr. Richardson will forever be remembered in history books, but their impact is being felt daily by so many of us who came after them. I came out of service in 46. Now at that time, they were not hiring guys with brown skin to be airline pilots. Well, my son, in April, my son retired as a, a captain uh, uh, for American Airlines. Now that, that happened as a result of men with brown skin being pilots during, during World War II. And for that, he tells me their sacrifices were well worth it. Never could have done it without the uh, Tuskegee Airmen experience. Dr. Eugene Richardson is living history.